Help! Help me! Shouldn't have tried to take what was yours.
You have survived Rift Space yet again, Mayfly, and defeated a Great One. Thanks to my cradle. Your cradle is merely a tool. You are the key. Like me, you are a transcendent. A metahuman, you mean? Yes, but you are much more than that now. You have journeyed beyond such limitations. The power of the O.E. has been dissipated, if only slightly, but its loss is our gain. Our strength and capabilities will grow more dominant with each victory. How... how did I end up here? What happened to me? Your connection to Stardust, your ability to harness it, that is what you need to focus on, not the past. The people of Nalcott. The people of our world need you. In time, you will discover the truth as we all do. For now, you must continue to grow stronger. You must harness the power of stardust that is all around you. You must follow the path. Past this point, we'll have to enter a rift space. Are you sure we'll be able to come back? You've built up a strong connection to the material world. Whether or not this battle is successful, after you defeat this Great One, you'll essentially consume its power and shut down this monolith. No other Great Ones will be able to use it. Are you sure I'll be able to beat it? You've quickly gone from wandering around half-naked to pursuing your mission while fully armed. Even if you lose this time, You'll be able to learn your lesson and make a comeback. V, was that a compliment? Coming from you? Just honesty. You have an advantage the Great Ones lack. You can evolve. This entity represents a test on the road of your evolution, but also a shortcut. Good luck.
Wow. My God. Gee, good to know you really believed in me. I uh, I'm sorry. It's not that. I just thought you knew what kind of odds you were facing. Even my own goal of shutting down this monolith, the amount of work and tech required, uh, I thought it would take ages. Centuries, even. I have a pill on me. A cyanide pill. Ever since I left Rosetta, they've been trying to hunt me down. Everyone I fought alongside with is dead. I didn't want to use it, but I almost did. But you seem so confident. You didn't even blink when I said I wanted to take on that great one. I was just trying to put on a brave face. Mayflies used to help survivors and deal with deviations or deviants, but taking on a great one? It's unheard of. My jaw nearly dropped when you said that was your plan. But then you... you actually did it. You're no ordinary Mayfly. You're not even an ordinary metahuman. You're something else. Something far beyond us ordinary mortals. Whoa, 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 let's not get ahead of ourselves. Just because I killed that thing in there doesn't mean I'm not human. If you say so. But for so long, humanity couldn't even comprehend the existence of these entities. Let alone defeat them. Until now. Whatever you need, I want to help you. You might be able to save humanity, you know that? If you keep on like this, people will start calling you their savior. God, even. Uh, just calling me by my name is fine. I need to be honest with you. I can't remember anything from my past. Like, at all. I've got these powers. And you're calling me a metahuman, but... I don't even know what that is. Whatever I'm supposed to do in the future, I need to figure out my past, too. Can I trust you to help me? Of course. I'll do anything I can to help you. Even if I don't have much right now, you should take any supplies and equipment you need from here. Also, it's good I found you first. Your power is going to draw a lot of attention, not all of it good. This isn't the only monolith in Nalcott. If you want to become stronger, you should find more of them, as soon as you can. Are you saying that killing the Great Ones there will make me stronger? Precisely. You'll be able to absorb the power of each one you defeat. You won't be able to survive unless you grow your power and win some allies. It's not merely Great Ones and Deviants, either. Human enemies like the Rosetta Corporation, or even Vulture Gangs, could be just as dangerous. You should probably use a cover of some kind to hide your power. Actually, that should work. I even thought you were a Mayfly at first, because of your cradle. The original organization was made up of metahumans dedicated to protecting humanity from Stardust. So, it's an ideal cover for you. I don't even know who I am. Any cover you come up with would work for me. Most people have just been calling me Mayfly so far. Unfortunately, I think this is the only help I can offer for now. Rosetta's still trying to track me down, and I fear if I accompany you I'll draw their attention. I may need to go into hiding, but I'll do everything I can to aid you. And I promise, I'll be back to support you.
hold it right there and identify her. You ever hear the mayflies? Oh yeah, you've got one of those weird backpacks. A cradle, right? We had another one of you guys come by here not too long ago. He didn't exactly impress anyone. So, you're here to clean up his mess? We've got a pretty urgent Stardust problem. But how do I know you'll actually help? I can't make any promises if I don't know what's going on. It's like going to the doctor. You gotta diagnose the illness before you can solve it. Well, at least you're a better talker than that last Mayfly. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna check with the mayor. I'm right here. Let the Mayfly in. Understood, ma'am. Maxi Rodriguez. I'm the mayor here. I'm a Mayfly. You've probably never heard of me, but I heard about your town when I was traveling north. You've got something strange going on here? Strange is putting it lightly. It's been about half a year now. Pregnant animals here, even pregnant people, all get infected by stardust and turn into these trees. Not normal trees, either. We tried everything to save them. None of it worked. You can go ahead and see for yourself. There's some strange shit, all right. Now, let's get down to business. We've got nowhere else to go, and so far no one else who can solve this problem. Two months ago, a mayfly going by the name of Talon arrived. We hired him to fix the problem. Instead, he ran away with his deposit. I'm not inclined to trust any more mayflies, but I also don't have any other options. You'd better not let us down like he did. You have my word. I'll fix this. Is there anything else you think I should know about this case? Does that big monolith that Rosetta built count? That thing's been here about as long as me. It's been abandoned for 20 years, until all of a sudden, six months ago, it lit up with a giant beam of light. Six months ago? Yep, right around the time we started getting this tree trouble. I figured there's gotta be a connection between the two. But it's too dangerous around the monolith. No one can get close to there. I'll check it out then. Anywhere else I should go? Yeah, an area called High Banks, north of here. It's by the bridge and the south bank of the river. What is it? Sometimes junk or animal carcasses wash up there, so it attracts beasts and desperate people looking for food. 
you might find something useful there. Why do I feel like you have someone in mind? There was a woman. The town voted to kick her out. Collectively. She... Well, she was also infected. Later, deep in high banks, I saw it. Her. She didn't look like Agnes. She became something else, something I can't describe. I think she might have been the very first to be infected. The first infected person? That sounds useful. When you say she was infected, then was she also... Pregnant? Yeah. I never said life out here was easy. Any other questions? Hey, what was up with that mayfly who came here before me? Why didn't he solve the problem? Who the hell knows? Hadn't seen a mayfly for years. Didn't even know there were any left in Nowcott. Then he showed up two months ago wearing his cradle, looking all gloomy. Depressed. We didn't have many other options, so I asked him if he could solve our problem. He didn't say much, took some food and batteries as a deposit, then did some research. I saw him coming in and out for a few days. In the end, he crept out without saying a word. All he left behind were some ripped up notes and empty cans. Wait a minute, what kind of notes? Were they research into deviations? They're full of broken symbols and jargon. Just impossible to understand. I tossed them into the corner of the market's office if you want to see them yourself. He really left without a trace? Some residents saw him sneak out through the north gate before dawn. If he didn't go to that swamp you came from, then he must have gone to a settlement called Greywater northwest of here. Anyway, we never saw him again. Communications with Greywater have been cutting out recently. So I don't know if that son of a bitch ever passed through or not. It's a bit worrying that Myers Market has such a strong leader. You know, most of us would consider that a good thing, V. Would you? It seems as if the entire settlement rests on one woman's shoulders. And the people here clearly look at her with more fear than admiration. Human relations are tricky things. What's the difference? At least it's well organized here. And people don't have to worry about dying in the wilderness. The difference depends on how much humanity remains in Maxie's heart, doesn't it? She seems rather unyielding. But I suppose we'll find out what kind of a leader she is soon enough. Whoever Talon is, he saved us some time. He's quite professional, actually. Now I know how the corresponding isotopes can be made, and I've synced the memetics to you. You just need to look for the key materials to upgrade your workbench. It's weird. This doesn't feel as disgusting as the last monolith. It feels... peaceful. Fear, disgust, calm, bliss. For a great one, it's all the same. Merely different methods to achieve the same goal. They surely don't care what impression they leave upon us. All they care about is imposing the laws of their own realm upon this reality, devouring all life within it. And it's up to you to stop them from imposing that reality upon us. You really know a lot about these Great Ones, V. You sure you're not actually one of them? If only I were, then everything would be easier. Unfortunately, I'm still in the same boat as you. When I came to in that rift space, 
There was much I understood, but almost nothing I could remember about myself. Currently, all I really know is that I need to keep you from dying somewhere out in this wilderness. Well, as long as you keep trying to keep me alive, I'll keep trying to keep you alive. Deal?
such cruelty. God, these are the people Maxie's... She has her own principles, harsh as they may be, and the courage to see them through. It's hard to think of something more valuable in times like these. Here's hoping it'll lead to true peace. <laughs>